anybody who knows me, um, I will say this again, um, knows that I used to be big veracity, um, maxi. I was very, very involved with the community. I love the people. I love the project. What has changed is I'm not a maxi. I'm not a veracity maxi. I still love the people and I still love the project. I have my doubts and I have my thoughts in terms of the tokenomics, but I still have my bag. I have completely forgot, uh, forgotten about um, reaccumulating my staking. So it was lovely to go back there the other day and just put that lump sum back again and see how it has risen, how it given me uh, a bigger bag now and that bigger bag now is accumulating the 18%. The so it's a great feeling guys. This is a monthly chart. It looks scary on the monthly because there isn't really a lot of support all the way down to 15 mark here. That big, I, I said it on the last uh, time I was analyzing Veracity. I think obviously if we zoom in to um, a weekly and daily, there are going to be a little bit more support. So I do have them marked. Um, and we've seen it, you know, that obviously this could be, I, these are my lines here. Don't look at all those crazy up at the top. I'll get rid of them one day. We're obviously concentrating down below here. Um, yeah, very important. We're, we're trading below one cent. So we're going into those smaller numbers. Um, and within those smaller digits, we can make, you know, good moves and accumulate bags nicely if we are trading with the, the, within the range. Those that are not feeling comfortable with doing that, I would say, again, back to the BCA. Um, buying in, you know, buying in around um, here. Let's zoom in because I don't really see much uh, marriage to this level here. So, yeah, I mean, no, I, 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 probably either wait for lower levels or wait for this to go up here above the five. Um, no need to rush with this, I think. Personally, I think there's going to be a while before Veracity picks up. I feel there is going to be a bit before this turns and makes um, a significant move i think it has it has a lot to give but it's i in my personal opinion is that i would be looking at lower levels to get in at this uh into this um on a monthly like it dep really depends on how the market behaves um where we headed with the bear market because it could be months and on a monthly you saw those big candles uh on the left and it goes all the way down to um, all the way here. If if their market is bad, I'm not saying I'm not ruling out seeing all those levels back again. But when it turns, it could be a few years, but it's fine to me personally. I, I know I am looking at probably years before I see my return uh, come back to me for veracity. Uh, but I'm not going to take away from the fact that they are an excellent project that has so much to give and their technology is going to be widely, widely used uh, across different markets, gaming, advertising, music, uh, hopefully even Twitter with their bots, um, because that would be amazing. So my levels haven't changed. They won't change. Uh, for many reasons, obviously, they're very clear. Um, I mean, I suppose if you wanted to pick on the two cent, uh, on below the, um, sorry, 0 0.002 mark here, uh, you could, because uh, it was like a, a pivot point. Um, I suppose I didn't add it just because there are so many lines already. But long term, cer certainly, guys, you know, I am still a supporter. And I still think Veracity will do great. But right now, their 
lower levels are still levels of interest for me. Possible accumulation here, that range um, or higher. But again, if you are in and you see your um, bag, give you returns, grab those profits and wait, wait for lower because you can double, triple your bag in no time. I think I'm going to wrap it up because um, I, I do talk uh, often about veracity. Um, my videos, I don't want to repeat myself too much as well. Um, because my, my thoughts are very clear on this. And if you do have any questions though, guys, obviously feel free, shoot me a message, uh, write a comment, whatever. That's it, I think, for today. And thanks for tuning in for your requests and for watching and listening. Thank you.